Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2016. So we are here with this problem 5 of your paper. This problem is an analysis problem. So let us firstly have a look. Let f be a strictly monotonic continuous real valued function defined on close interval a comma b such that f of a is less than a and f of b is greater than b then which which one of the following is true so you have these options in your hand there exists exactly one c belongs to a b such that f of c is c so this actually means that we are talking about the fixed point so a, a, a point from this open interval a comma b is said to be fixed point if this thing happens all right now second one says there will be two fixed point third one says there will be no fixed point and fourth one will fourth one says there will be infinitely many fixed point so what is given to us that f of a should be less than a and f of b should be greater than b these are the two things uh, that is given to us so now let me just start with a counter example and using that counter we can discard many options all right so if you want to discard b c and d what you can do you can begin with this function fx is equal to x square over 2 on 1 comma 3 so you see f of 1 is actually 1 by 2 which is less than 1 that means it satisfies this property that f of a must be less than a also see that f of 3 is actually 9 by 2 which is 4.5 that means it's greater than 3 so we have a counter which is a strictly increasing function okay why is it strictly increasing because f dash is greater than 0 all right also it satisfies these two property which are given in the question so on this interval f is exactly the same function which satisfies all the hypothesis that is given in the question so but what is the problem with this function the problem is with the fixed point suppose i write x square by 2 is equal to x we need to find out x such that fx is x this is what a fixed point actually means so from here you can write x square minus 2x is equal to 0 so from here what you are getting x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 but x is equal to 0 is not a possible answer why because you are working on 1 comma 3 so it's not possible so we got only one fixed point for this function that means the, uh, the that means b c and d are incorrect using this counter but now what is the problem with the a option that a is also a incorrect option okay so i will show you that with a graph all right are you getting my point so this question was actually wrong in your exam so now let me show why a option is wrong so for that matter i will not write any general function i will just draw the graph for the function and then we will study how why this uh, option a is actually wrong so now let me just draw a line a line uh, y is equal to x okay so let us say this is your line y is equal to x okay let us say this is your line y is equal to x so now what will I do this is y is equal to x all right so let us say this is a this is b now since this line is y is equal to x that means this point here 
will be a all right and this point here will be b are you getting my point this point will be b com uh, sorry 0 comma b and this will be 0 comma a this will be a comma 0 and this will be b comma 0 all right are you getting my point now let me construct my function okay so i am constructing my function like this firstly it is going up like this then it is coinciding then it is coinciding with your line y is equal to x from this point to this point then it's going sharply up are you getting my point or not i should draw this line again then it is going sharply up here are you getting my point so what's your curve it's like this this and then up oh i should erase so it's like this and this are you getting my point what i am drawing it's a little bit difficult to draw here on the computer okay so this is my uh, graph of the function okay it's a start from here and it will end here somewhere here so going up like this okay so you see this point is your a zero comma a this point is a comma a now this will be your f of a are you getting my point or not this is this point is a comma f of a this point is b comma f of b so that means it satisfies that hypothesis that f of a is actually smaller than a why because a is on this height are you getting my point also it satisfies that hypothesis that f of b is greater than b are you getting my point this is your line b so it's up here so f of b must be greater than b are you getting or not so it completely satisfies every hypothesis that is given in your question that it is increasing strictly increasing okay it's not decreasing function it's strictly increasing also it satisfies these two condition but see how at in how many point it is coinciding with your line y is equal to x okay so if whenever you want to find out a fixed point then you actually want to find out all those points such that that function fx will cut the line y is equal to x so these are the number of fixed point all right so if you will draw it on the base you will get these these number of fixed point all right so the whole interval will be fixed this interval is mapped to the same value are you getting my point or not so this is how we can prove your a option incorrect why because you got uncountable number of uh, fixed point you got my point or not so this is how we can actually show that all the options a b c d are incorrect that means this question was actually asked incorrectly are you getting my point so i can give you an exercise that if this continuity is replaced by differentiability then what can you say about the fixed point for this given function all right so i hope you uh, you are uh, you are in good touch with this question so just replace this uh, continuity with differentiability then check whether this kind of function that i have chosen will work or not all right you got my point so this is how we can show so thank you